All right, guys. Well, welcome to this week's Thursday AMA. As you guys can tell from my voice, I am starting to feel a lot better compared to the last two times you guys heard me. Um, so we're going to get today started off uh, addressing some of the facts, um, addressing some things that are for sure going to happen and are baked into a timeline. So uh, let's start off with another uh, exchange listing. So we can we announced another exchange listing. We have Indo Indo Exchange, so it's another solid ex exchange that's coming on board, and we're we're happy to uh, you know work with them as well moving forward. Uh, I can't give you guys an official listing date just yet, just because they haven't given it to us just yet. But everything is confirmed and it's in the pipeline. So as soon as we as soon as we get that information, we'll uh, convey it over to you guys, and you'll have. Uh, updates as to what's going on uh, over there as well. Second thing, everybody who participated in last week's Mint Monday gets a free Lambo. No, I'm just kidding. Everybody who participated in the Mint Monday is going to get uh, their airdrops either today or either tomorrow. So um, we have one of our engineers working on compiling all those uh, unique addresses and everything. So if he finishes today, then we'll be able to send them out today. Worst case scenario, you get them tomorrow. So just know that those are going to be sent out within the next, you know, 12 to 24 hours, maybe even sooner. So, yeah. <clears throat> Third thing is, uh, obviously, I've been keeping track of what's going on, and we're, we're growing at a pretty quick pace, again, compared to the month before and the weeks before. Obviously, we surpassed the 26,000 holder mark uh, a few days ago, which was a... A nice milestone as well. So, you know, next milestone is uh, 30K, which we're headed towards. We're, we're, we're slowly chipping away to it. Um, guys, we're throwing these numbers out, and it, to us, it seems like it's normal. To us, this seems like it's something that, you know, is a regular occurrence. I just want to remind you guys, it is not a regular occurrence. It is not a normal thing for a project. Um a mean project, especially a community driven project, especially um, a, a project in our category to be live for what less than a year and achieve those numbers. I just want to remind you guys that it is extraordinary and it is something to be proud of. And it is something that is very special. So um, anybody who kind of, uh, you know, sees it any differently, it's only because we're desensitized to it because we've been involved for such a long time, and it, it seems like it's a normal thing to us, but it, it really isn't. It's it's huge. It's a big milestone, and um, it just gives us a lot of validation moving forward, knowing that the things that we're doing and the things that we're continuing to do are, are things that people are interested in and are things that um, the community is, um, you know, accepting and, and, and nurturing, and it's a growing community, obviously. So, yeah, I mean, that, that's pretty much what I want to say. So it... It, the, the validation that it gives to the project and to, to our work and to the uh, community's work, it's, it's immense. And, um, yeah, it, I just want to see us keep growing. And regardless of the speed, whether it's one unique user a day or if it's a million unique users a day, it doesn't matter. The, the, the main goal is to continue to move forward. And I think we're doing a great job in accomplishing that. Especially um, with the way the market is right now, any type of growth is is solid. So as, as long as we're in the green on that end, then we're in the green in my book, no matter what. And obviously, um, things are shaping up um, with Twitter, especially the news in Twitter. You know, you got Elon is now saying that he wants to do the deal and Twitter is agreeing to it as well. So obviously, I won't believe it till I see it happen. But that's going to be crazy for crypto Twitter, especially for Dogecoin and Shiba users, and especially for Shiba Doge, because um, I don't know if you guys were paying attention, but the day that Elon uh, made that announcement that, you know, the Twitter thing is happening, obviously the Twitter stock jumped by like 20 some percent. And then if, if you guys were paying attention, you would have seen that Dogecoin did the same exact thing that Twitter was doing. It was literally following Twitter's uh, trajectory. So what I pulled away from that is Dogecoin, Elon, and Twitter, they have this like symbiotic, like something going on there, right? Because it, it's not just coincidental that all those charts 
started um, behaving the way that they did. So I think it's good for crypto, um, especially with Elon being in the mix with Twitter. And I think it's just going to be uh, more fuel to the fire to the to the Shiba Doge community. And um, yeah, I think we're in for a wild ride, especially. So we'll see where the next couple of months takes us with, with on that spectrum. But I'm excited, man. I'm excited. And I think there is a lot of good things that are going to be happening very soon. Um, on a side note, <clears throat> I could give you guys a small little update on the Shiba Doge project, um, the, the NFT iteration. Um, so things are going pretty smoothly there on that end. Uh, we just had a pretty big meeting today with uh, literally everyone who's involved in building uh, on that end. And I just want to let you guys know that what we are bringing to the table with the Shiba Doge NFT, the, the bread uh, iteration, it is a engineering marvel in a sense of blockchain. So it is something that is very unique, um, not easy to build. Um, it, it is not just a NFT. It, it's going to be much more than just an NFT in, in, in my book, right? Um, it, it's going to be an engineering marvel in a sense, just because of the way the code is written, because of the features that it's going to, uh, you know, have and because of the way that you're going to be able to, uh, you know, do all your customizations and whatnot. So it's something really cool. And I think it could be something really revolutionary in the space. And I think a lot of people will get a lot of inspiration from seeing this brought to life, which is something that can bring a lot of attention to us as well. So <clears throat> and sorry if I'm running out of breath. I'm still a little bit clogged up from from being sick, but I'm trying my best here. Um, so I think I think um, with the things that we're bringing to the table, I, I, we're going to be we're going to be seeing a lot more exposure to people who are actually not just in it to make a quick buck, but the people who are actually in it to see the web, uh, web three actually grow and progress. And that's what we want to do is what we want to do is put our efforts into progressing and building products that are sustainable and revolutionary and can actually change the game up in a sense. I mean, look at, look at the burn card NFTs. Um, I actually just talked to somebody the other day who had DM'd me about his burn card NFT and he was asking me some questions about it. And <clears throat> I'm not going to really get into it, but uh, the burn card NFTs are literally one of a kind if you think about it. Name me one other NFT on the entire market that has liquidity baked into it. There is no other NFT on the market that is 100% liquid. Right. You're going to for for every other NFT, you're going to have to list it on OpenSea or list it on, um, you know, a, any other marketplace. And you're going to have to wait for somebody to buy it. The burn card is revolutionary because it's an NFT, but it's also liquid as well. It can you could turn it into burn tokens. And then obviously, whatever the market cap of the burn tokens are is what what whatever. It's worth those amount of burn tokens is what I'm saying. But <clears throat> the point is. Nothing like that exists. And that was something that was very revolutionary. And that's something that I personally haven't seen in the space before. And I've done a lot of research trying to figure out if something like that exists other than the burn card. And it doesn't, at least not that I found. If you guys find anything, feel free to you know share it with me. But I think it's uh, pretty unique. I think it's one of its one of a kind in a sense. And there are a lot of future opportunities with um, the way that that system, that model is, is set up for, for it to, to grow. Especially, um, I'll, I'll tell you guys what I told him. The burn project has not even reached 5% of its full potential in a sense. Um, there is a lot that still has to come. Uh, obviously the bear market is holding us back in achieving a lot of those goals in a sense, but that doesn't mean those goals are scrapped and those goals are going to be put away. No, all it means is that they're delayed until things start picking back up in a sense. And um, it, it honestly gives us more time to prepare and more time to think, th think th things through because especially in a bull market, everything is moving so fast and you got to make some rash decisions. You got to be quick. You got to stay up to speed. But in the bear market, things are slow. You have a minute to catch your breath. You have a minute, minute to think. You have a minute to kind of like, you know, am I making the right decision or, or should we do it this way? Should we do it that way? But you know, moral of the story is we take advantage of whatever position we're put into, whether it's a bull position or a bear position or whatever, um, and make the most of it. I always say that the bear market is very important because, you know, people who take advantage of it are set up for the bull run and vice versa. It's like, you know, um, if you're in a bull market, you also have to expect the bear market. It can't always be 
a bull market. It can't always be green. It can't always be red. It always has to change up. That balance has to be there. So um, that's something we recognize, and that's something I, I try to teach people every day as well because it, it really teaches a lot when um, – you understand these things and then you're able to take emotion out of it because once you take emotion out of it, that's when you start seeing some better results. And then also when you take emotion out of it, before you even invest into a project, if you invest in a project because of emotion, you're all already making a, a mistake too, in a sense. Any investment that you make, whether it's, you know, digital investment like, you know, crypto or NFT or stock or you're buying a car or buying a house or whatever, um, Try not to be emotional about it because, you know, if, you, if you're not emotional about it, then you're actually looking at facts and not looking at what your emotions are telling you to do. When And sometimes your emotions can lie to you or, or push you to do something that you don't want to do or you shouldn't do. So sorry if I'm running out of breath again, guys. Um, yeah, it, it's just very important to understand these things. And it's very important to kind of like think. Think of yourself as like a robot in a sense, right? The more robotic you could be in, in these kinds of um, situations where, where you're trying to like make trades or whatever, which I don't even recommend making trades. Like don't even trade in my opinion. Um, the best way to do things is to actually like love what you want to buy and buy it and have a goal for it. Uh, trading usually has bad results and it's more kind of like gambling compared to anything else. Um, but, you know, some people find success in it. So if you can find success in it and it's your thing, then, you know, all the power to you, you do, do whatever you want to do. But um, statistically looking at things, the people who kind of like get in and know what they're getting into are the people and, and have the patience and don't have the emotions like all wild and mixed up. Those are the people who kind of have like a better head on their shoulders and they sleep better at night and they they know what to expect and they know like what they've gotten themselves into. And... <clears throat> Those are the people who seem the most success and that's statistically proven. So, you know, kind of just like keep that in your back pocket. And yeah, I mean, th that's some of the things that I just wanted to convey to you guys today and talk to you guys about today. Just wanted to let you guys also know that <clears throat> obviously that I'm feeling better now that we're going to start getting things more uh, active again. Uh, we're going to be doing some more Dow proposal readings uh, sometime next week. We'll do that. I was supposed to do it last week, but Obviously, you guys saw how I was last week, so we had to delay that. But we'll do it next week. We'll we'll start reading those up again. And there's a couple other things that we'll do. We'll start do, uh, doing some more um, games in the Telegram, which I know some of you guys really enjoy doing that. So we'll bring that back as well. And, yeah, there's a lot of cool things to, to look forward to and a lot of big things that, that, that can happen. And, and uh, one more thing that we talked about last week was always expect the unexpected. Like that, that is something to keep in your back pocket as well. Um, anything that can happen will happen, you know, Murphy's law or whatever the heck, however that saying goes, uh, it just always expect the unexpected, always be ready. So you don't have to get ready, stay on your tippy toes. And yeah, that, that's, that's, you know, the life that we live in a nutshell, right? In a sense, if, if you're ready, you're, you're, you're not going to have to get ready. And if you expect the unexpected, you'll never be surprised because, you know, surprises are cool and all, but it's better when you predict something and you know it's going to happen and it actually happens. It, it's just a much better feeling than actually being surprised that it happened. So, yeah, just want to want to let you guys know that obviously I've been getting some questions in the chat, too, about, you know, what secrets I have um, moving forward and <laughs> people were joking around, like trying to guess what the secret was, uh, 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 if it was a tier one exchange or whatever the case is. There are a lot of things that we're working on, on the background, right? There's a lot of things that we want to bring to the table. There's a lot of things that we want to, um, achieve. Now, none, none of those are unachievable things. They're all achievable things, but everything that's good comes at a price and it comes with time. So time and money is the two literal key ingredients to getting things done uh, in every space, not just this space. So just uh, want to let you guys know, like we are, we do have big plans. We do have big ambitions and we do have uh, a nice uh, roadmap that we need to achieve. Right. So that's, that's something that is never neglected. We're always here. We're always talking to you guys. We're always transparent. So you know, always just understand that it's not 
easy doing what we do in a sense. And we understand that it's not easy having to kind of like wait for information as well. That That is why I, I try to come in here and let you guys know what's going on every single week, whatever I possibly can without kind of like over promising anything or, or, or anything like that. So just, just know that I will always be super transparent with you guys, no matter what's, no matter what the case is. And, I expect the same from you guys as well. If, if something bothers you guys or if you need to get something off your chest or if you just want to speak up about something, uh, I always expect you guys to actually reach out to me and let me know what's going on, what's on your mind. And, you know, uh, we can we can always figure that out and answer those questions. So it's a, you know, it's a two-way street, guys. I tell you guys what you want to hear, and I, I expect to hear back. Um, things that you guys want me to understand and want me to hear and want want us to kind of get an understanding of because I understand that we can't keep everybody happy all the time even though like let's say we keep nine out of ten people happy there's always that one bad apple who doesn't like what's going on and then just like bottles it up never says anything and then one day just decides they want to like let it all out like don't you know that's cool and all you know but but it's even cooler to actually express how you feel early on so, you know, people can address it or even give you a better understanding. And yeah, so that, that's all I got to pretty much announce and speak about and talk about today. So if there's anybody who has any questions, concerns, comments, or if you're feeling like I missed something, you know, feel free to let me know. And it is the open mic. So if you want to step up, just unmute yourself. Have you got a new mic, Leo? Your mic sounds a bit wonky to me. Wongy, wongy, I would say. Yeah, no, I didn't get a new mic, but I think my my daughter got her hands on my headset, so she might have she might have like broke it or threw it around or something. So you know, if that's uh, the case, I'm sorry. <laughs> nah, it's okay it's because we can hear you. It's a bit wongy, you know, but that's all good. Uh, I'll listen to it in the recording and I'll see what the problem is and I'll try to fix it. Or I'll just go get a new headset. I just got this like a couple of weeks ago, and then I, I came home um, one day, and I opened up my door, and, and I see like, because my daughter, she's only two years old, um, she got into my little office over here, and everything on my desk was on the floor, and she was like using my computer <laughs> as a building block, and yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they're curious about everything at that age, you know. Oh, everything, man, everything. And they're oblivious to everything, too. So it's like, it, it, it's really funny. Um, I'll be like on the phone and uh, I, sometimes when I'm on the phone, I pace. And I walk back and forth when I'm talking. I don't know why I do that. Um, and a lot of people <laughs> find it annoying. I kind of find it annoying, too. When I see people doing it, I'm like, why is, it, why, why is that person doing that? But I also do it, too. So she's seen me doing that, and she has this little uh, toy cell phone that, you know, just has one button, and you press it, and it makes, like, a ringing noise. She she rings it, and then she picks it up and starts pacing back and forward, and she starts talking, like, gibberish to it. <laughs> so I, I thought that was hilarious. <laughs> yeah, she's copying her dad, you know? That's what kids yeah, do. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, guys, um, if you want to say something, just uh, unmute your mic and speak. Hmm. Okay, I guess uh, no one has anything to say. Yeah, Bad that's fine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if no one has anything to say, that's fine too. You know, I don't. I don't expect like crazy questions every week or anything because uh, back to what I was saying about me being transparent is I like to lay everything out um, and let everyone know what's going on before people start questioning us on what's going on. And and I think, you know, I, I, I like to think I do a pretty good job of, of being transparent and you know, I, I really rarely ever forget to mention anything. Normally nine out of 10 times I, I come into these AMAs with, with notes about what I want to talk about and, and I, you know, go off, you know, based off of what I wrote down, address those things and, and move forward. Today I didn't have any notes. I had zero notes because I've been in bed the last few days and um, <laughs> I, but, we had a pretty productive day today with, uh, you know, some conversations and some phone calls we had with 
some of the team members. So, I, you know, I, I felt like uh, I was pretty caught up enough to be able to share some info with you guys. Oh, nice, nice. That's cool. You sound a lot better anyways, you know, like, yeah. that's good. Yeah, man, I finally got some fresh air today. I was able to get out and walk around and not feel like I want to run back to my house. So, like, yeah, the, the past few days I've been getting out and trying to get fresh air, like five minutes outside, and I'm like, okay, I got to go back in because I I just need to go lay down. But thankfully I woke up yeah. this morning and, and I, I felt great. Well, not great. I still feel a little bit, a super tiny bit sick, but not, nothing compared to what I was, you know, the day before and the last week before. Day, yeah. yeah, yeah. That was rough. Yeah. So last time I used like, yeah, I'm feeling a bit better in the main chat. I'm thinking, okay, okay. So when he came on, I was like, no way. He's not better, man. He's... <laughs> I'm like, what? What are you talking about? <laughs> but today you definitely sound better. Yeah, I sound like myself again. I feel like myself again, kind of. Um, I think, you know, what are we today? Thursday. So by Monday, I should be like literally back to 110%. So right. I'm looking forward to that. Looking forward to going back to the gym and, you know, not sitting down and laying down all day and getting some, some action in. So, yeah. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. So any updates on the Shiba Doge uh, NFTs? Um, yeah, kind of some updates. I mean, I shared with you guys what what I what I could share. Um, so so right now it, we're in development stage on on the Shiba Doge NFTs. The artwork is done. The artwork is like the least of our worries right now because that part the artist is you know great at and and we're we're not worried about that end at all. Um, what our main focus right now is because of how complex what we're building is. Um, it requires a lot of work to be put into. Um, so right. <clears throat> you guys will see. I mean, we're, 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 it's all hands on deck right now to be able to get this, uh, out at ASAP and, and finished ASAP. Obviously, um, you know, we, we, we talked about season three, so that's, that's our goal. And, <clears throat> uh, you guys are going to be pleasantly, pleasantly, pleasantly surprised at, what we're bringing to the table with this, you know, some people will look at it and say, Hey, it's a, it's just another NFT. And then some people will actually look into it and actually understand uh, what we've built and what we've brought is, is actually a revolutionary product to the, to the web three space. And, you know, if, Nice. The, the first people who are going to be able to get their hands on it are going to be the uh, people in our community. Right. So um, the, right. the, the code, the technology, the things that are being built with with this, in a sense, can be very useful moving forward in in the space of Web three, and um, yeah, I think you guys are going to be pleasantly surprised and hopefully a part of uh, history by owning one of these things. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm 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 very excited about it, guys. I mean, obviously, you guys could tell we've been excited about this for a very long time. And um, we're more excited now knowing that everything is in motion and it's getting closer and closer. Every, every day we're getting closer, right? Every day we're getting closer to completion and right. every day we're getting closer to being able to bring this product out. And it's just, uh, yeah, super exciting. And obviously uh, we had a small AMA like a few weeks ago where we shared uh, some sneak peeks and we shared some features and, and whatever else we did. Um, we'll plan to do another one of those uh, in the near future. Um, I'll, I'll put together another presentation sheet and, and we'll go over some other things that we're comfortable sharing with you guys. Um, but, uh, I don't know when exactly we'll do that. Uh, I'll, I'll talk to the rest of the team. We'll, we'll get, we'll get something in, in motion and we'll, we'll have another, um, AMA and a sneak peek for, for, uh, the Shiba Doge NFTs pretty soon. So, Leo, Sounds good. Follow up with Sounds that. Good. Just to follow up with that, so staking uh, season three begins. Um, obviously, the ship, the Doge army are being staked. Uh, the Shiba Doge, are they going to be all lonely in my wallet? Kim, Kim. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to comment on that just because I don't want to give away any any information. But uh, I'll, I'll tell you, you're going to be pleasantly surprised. And um, think about it like this. 
So everything that's a tool has a purpose, right? You you, you buy a drill, for example, so you can uh, you know uh, drive some screws or or, or whatever you're going to use a drill for, but you don't use it as a wrench and you don't use it as a hammer. You buy a hammer for that. So everything has its own purpose and everything is being built for uh, a certain thing, right? And um, I can assure you guys that, you know, the, the Shiba Doji iterations are going to have a purpose. They are going to be used for something um, in the ecosystem, and they are going to be customizable. They are going to have some features in there. I won't tell you guys exactly what it is or what it's not. Um, uh, obviously, if I tell you guys and that there's uh, a lot of suspense that is going to be ruined in a sense, and then obviously, there, like I said, we are still in development on it, and... <clears throat> If I speak too soon and then our developers tomorrow call me and say, hey, dude, why did you why did you say that? We're still working on it. And it, it just uh, it becomes a, a, another issue that I really All don't right. want to deal with at the moment. So <laughs> we'll, we'll keep it. We'll keep it the way that it is right now until I'm more comfortable uh, sharing some more information with you guys. But I, I can assure you that it will be unique and you guys will be pleasantly surprised with, you know, some of the the features and, and customization options and uh, the, the marketplace that we're bringing to you guys with this uh, type of uh, NFT, uh, first of its kind in, in my book. Nice one. Thanks, Leo. Yeah. Just one more yeah. question. Earlier, you mentioned that burn um, has not even reached 5% of its potential. If you were to put a percentage on Shiba Doge, what would you say it is? I, I wouldn't be able to put a percentage on Shiba Doge because Shiba Doge is a community driven uh, project. It's a meme pro. So, what, what would be the uh, percentage of uh, capacity that you would value like Shiba or Dogecoin at, right? You wouldn't be able to because it's just like, you know, the more people that get in, the more people that support, the better it will do. The same concept applies to this project that uh, Shiba Doge. The more people that we can actually onboard, and the more people that we can actually convert to to being uh, on the same page as us as a community, and being able to drive a force and move forward and continue uh, growing and expanding, then I feel like the the possibilities are limitless, man. And I think we have a very solid base to actually continue to build off of and. Uh, the momentum obviously isn't the same it was back in January, but that's fine because all that's happened is that it actually solidified itself as a uh, a valid, uh, literally a monster project in the space. So, you know, I'm extremely, extremely happy with where we at, where we are right now, and I, I I still think this is only the beginning, literally just the beginning. And anybody who's here right now is still super, extremely, very early. So, you know that that that's that's what I think. Thanks, bro. Yeah, thank you, Leo. Yeah, of course, man. So, um, like in the main chat, some people are talking about the zeros, right? So, some people are saying it's never going to get to four zeros. What would you say to that? Um, that might be right. I, I haven't done the math, but I mean, you know, some of those zeros, if it, you know, once you shave off a certain amount of zeros, you're already in like the trillions and, you know, quintillion dollars of market cap. So, you know, sometimes we do have to be realistic as to some of these things, but um, <laughs> I, 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 I don't, don't see, like as much as I am confident in Shiba Doge, I don't see it surpassing Bitcoin, you know, uh, at least <laughs> not in the current state that we're in right now. So, um, right. you know, sometimes be realistic uh, of these these things. So, yeah, I mean, it, it's cool to meme about it. And, you know, the whole whole idea of uh, this project is for, so people can have fun and meme things. So, yeah, I mean, if, if you guys want to joke around and have your fun, then I'm all for it. But um, realistically, uh, yeah, realistically, I, I, I would, if I were to compare us to, like, a top tier magnitude like project that that can relate to some of the things that we're doing. I would I would literally compare us mm. to like Shiba um, because they started the same way we started. They've uh, achieved some of the same things that we've achieved in the same amount of time frames that we've achieved. Like you know, a lot of things line up pretty pretty closely with with Shiba. So it's a it's a pretty good comparison in my opinion. Obviously, um, the market caps can't be compared, but um, you know the 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 stages and the actions and 
you know, the growth and the movement, you know, all of that is a pretty good comparison. Right. And, and I like to, I like to look at it like that. Nice, nice. Well, just, just for the max purposes, removing four zero, it's just like 113 billion market cap. <laughs> Yeah, that's not unrealistic. That that that's a realistic number. Yeah, I think it is hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. That see, that's not that's not unrealistic. Like when you're in the trillions of market cap, then we're like, okay, you know, maybe maybe one day, but <laughs> <laughs> that's not something that. Go on, Leo. Any time soon, you know? <laughs> <laughs> it's just all. <laughs> look, the governments are printing money left and right, so it's like you know, you know. Right now, a thousand dollars seems like it's a lot of money to someone, right? Uh, even to right. me, like a thousand dollars is a thousand dollars. But maybe in ten years, people look at a thousand dollars as if it were a hundred dollars. Like, and then people, you get what I'm saying? So, money, yeah. money is it, the entire economy is a shit coin. <laughs> that's the that's the best way to. Put it. And the, you know the difference between crypto, for example, is if we set a certain amount of tokens out there, that's all that's ever going to exist. The difference is they can the governments keep minting more money into the system. So that's why I think crypto is going to become more of a staple in the financial world because you're not going to be able to have governments or companies or whatever abuse that system and be able to mint more coins into circulation just to like put more money into their pockets or, or whatever the case is. And that, this is why I think Web3 and, you know, uh, a lot of things that are being built on blockchain are going to revolutionize the world. And, you know, we're seeing it happen right in front of our eyes. Like, look at America, for example, they printed how many billions of dollars just in the past year or, or rewind like the past two years and yeah it, it's just uh it's comical it's kind of comical but it is what it is right right so is there any um any updates on the metaverse like is there anything that you got right to now bro, to be honest um there there is a small plan for the metaverse um we've already purchased uh, multiple plots of land, which you guys know about. We've talked to you guys about this. Um, right. We, we, cho we chose that we want to do the um, the Bored Ape metaverse, the other sides. So that's the metaverse yeah. of our choice. Um, they still haven't even fully came out with the product yet. So um, until the product comes out and until some of those customization options are out for us to actually create it the way that we want to create it on, on that platform comes out, uh, right. we won't really be able to put anything into motion. But, but yeah, there is a small plan for what we want to do and how we want to do it in a sense. Uh, nothing crazy. It's just a couple ideas, nothing final, nothing, um, you know, set in stone, but we're just patiently waiting at that point. And I don't think, I don't think metaverse is, uh, anything that's going to be the, big driving force of this project right now it could be in the future but but right now i i don't think so right now i think uh, there is uh other things that we should prioritize well i think everyone just wants to meet you in the metaverse you know shake your hand yeah that's, that's going to be awesome yeah i can't wait to do that the funny thing is i could like design myself to be to look exactly like how i look in real life and people would be like oh that guy's fake there's no way that's leo <laughs> right. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah Speaking yeah, that would be great. Speaking of looks, does Mac, Max, does he really have the curtain, the haircut, Max? Does he have a what? <laughs> a curtain? The, the curtain haircut. <laughs> what does that mean? Ah, <laughs> oh, wow. When he did the when he did the AMA with the A A X. Yeah, yeah, the picture he had in my. Hand. Oh, oh I don't know if I remember the picture. All right, have a look at the the curtain. Is this? Have a look at the chat. <laughs> the <curtain>. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I can, yeah. it does not have that haircut. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh man, no, yeah. I'm I'm just laughing because I'm picturing him with that haircut, and he'd look hilarious with it. But but yeah, no, he he has a normal <laughs> like you know normal haircut, <laughs> at least for him. <laughs> 
<laughs> so there we go, guys. Max is not bold. <laughs> yeah, Max is not bold. And more importantly, he doesn't have curtains. That was worrying. <laughs> Sonny was worried, man. He was like, oh, am I, am I really invested in the project where the dev has curtains? <laughs> <laughs> Now, the important thing is if the curtains match the drapes, man. <laughs> right. But yeah, guys, I mean, that that's that's all I really have for today um, as far as any types of advancements or anything that I kind of want to announce. Um, we're honestly going full steam forward right now. Uh, we're approaching the one year anniversary mark, which is going to be extremely special. And that's something that we have to actually uh, finish planning as well too, because we do want to have a huge event and we do want to have a huge thing happen for our one year anniversary. Um, but we've been so tied up with making sure like everything else is going smooth and all of the developments that we're, we're working on are prioritized. So um, we've, we've uh, been trying to balance all that and trying to balance planning out the one year anniversary. So yeah, I mean, we're getting close guys. So we're going to, we're going to start revealing a little bit of information as to what we want to do probably next month or maybe like a month before the anniversary. We'll let you guys know what to expect. And it's going to be big. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be cool. And I think we're going to have, we're going to have a great time. And maybe what we'll do is um, maybe we will set up a little metaverse meetup, you know, sometime that week and, and see how many people actually hop in. We'll choose a metaverse. It won't have to be a custom custom one to Shiba Doge or anything. It'll just be a pre-built one, and we'll just all go in there and hang out or or whatever and have a quick little meetup <laughs> in the metaverse, and I think that'll be pretty that'll cool. Be yeah, that'll be cool. Uh, but that's not going to be what the event is. I mean, the event is going to be something pretty special and pretty cool and, and magnificent for, for the one-year anniversary. Nice, nice. Guys, come on, you guys, all of you guys, you know, there's, what, 36 people? No one's got nothing to say. Say hello to Leo, guys. Come on, get up, come up and say hello to Leo. <laughs> Roof is Where's getting mad. Leo? He's doing demands out there now. <laughs> 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 Everyone unmute yourself. Say hello. <laughs> uh, say hello. I'm going to force you now. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Be logical was saying something. Yeah, you're saying hi. What's up, Be logical? How are you, man? Doing good, brother. How about yourself? Ah, uh, just chilling, bro. Hanging in there. I love what you're doing, man. I'm I'm excited for the future on this. And burn. Thank you, man. Thank you. We're happy to have you a part of the the crew, man. Absolutely, man. I've been in since January. I ain't going nowhere. That's right. The OGs. All right, OG. O G double O G. All right, guys. Hey, well, if there's really nothing else. We we could roof if you want. We could just stand hey, it over here. Hey. Hey. Hi. Um, my name is Sharon, and I've been a Shiba Doge and Burn since the beginning of both of them, and now I'm in Luna Classic, and I did the um real Shiba Doge and see if we can burn some Luna Classic with burn because we really need to bring down the supply in Luna Classic so I'm wondering if y'all can help us out with that it's something that look um, I'll be up front it's something that we've talked about because it has been brought up uh, by some other people as well too but I haven't not just me, but the entire team hasn't made any types of decisions on anything yet because firstly, we haven't even looked into the project. Um, secondly, we uh, don't really know if it's such a great idea to associate with someone, something named Luna because of all the controversy that happened with Luna in itself. So I won't be able to give you an answer right now, but I, I, what I can okay. tell you is we'll, we'll look further into it, and um, it might be something cool that we could do for with the burn project. And if yeah. we, whatever decision we do come up with, um, you will be made aware of it. Obviously, um, we'll you know talk about it in one of the AMAs or pin it in the chat or something. But um, yeah. I wouldn't expect anything like 
anytime soon. Uh, I haven't even done any type of absolute research on anything, but all, all I know right now is uh, we, we try to steer clear of any type of controversy. And um, obviously, right. the, so, just the name Luna itself is pretty controversial. Right. So, right. So, um, Luke, um, Luna Classic is actually not affili affiliated with Do Quan anymore. Um, Terra 2 I know. Um, is, I know. but we are like a community owned crypto now. And so we're doing this all as a community. So Vega Morph is like the go-to guy and same with Ed Kin, um, E-D-K-I-M. So those guys are like the big guys that are involved, but we are all community owned and we are all for pulling Luna Classic right back to the Luna blockchain that yeah. it used to be. Well, look, see, so, 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 yeah, I mean, it, you yeah, bring up so points here to cut you off, but you bring up a good point. But um, I, the, the, the only way that Burn would even be able to help you guys or any project would, would be the actual introduction of the DAO. And, you know, uh, that would be the only way to actually get yourself to be listed to be a project to be burned. The so only there, problem oh, is... Oh, no, no, I'm, I'm not. I'm talking about how I'm talking about how Burn would be able to benefit any any yeah. other project currently. So, um, well, uh, Binance, yeah, Binance, um, CZ Binance is currently doing our burns on chain and off chain, um, and KuCoin has Maxi. We're looking to get relisted on um, Coinbase. You know, Hello. so we're you know we're really yeah. building it. I mean, that, that's cool. I, I mean, yeah, good luck to everything that you guys pool, are doing. So. But I mean, at, at the moment, I really wouldn't even want to um, associate ourselves with it just because of the controversy. But but thanks for bringing it up. And if there are ever any changes or announcements, you know, you'll be made aware of it. Yeah, if you could if you could look into that more, you'll definitely see that we're not associated with Doquan anymore. We are all our community owned. And we're really looking to pull this right up, you know, out of where it got brought down to. So, you know, if you could if you could help us out, that'd be great. I'm still in Shiva Doge and Burn, um, you know, been since the beginning. So, you know, any help that we can get to to help us, you know, rebuild this blockchain would be great. Yeah, cool. All right. Thank you. Well, Thank, you. Right. Thank you. Thanks, Leo. Appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Yep. Have a good day. Thank you, too. Yeah, it looks like that's it, Leo. Yeah, we can end it on a, on a good note here, guys. So uh, a burn card just sold on OpenSea for 2.2 ETH. Uh, that's nice. something we've been seeing for quite a bit. Obviously, whoever minted it took a you know quite a bit of a loss because it was a 5 ETH mint. But uh, this is, uh, yeah. Burn cards are, are definitely revolutionary, definitely the first of its kind. And back to what I was saying, the burn project has not reached its full potential. And uh, just like that young lady was uh, talking uh, about, you know, burns and how they needed some help on whatever they were working on uh, from the burn project. This is what the burn project is going to be able to value, uh, help bring value to other projects in the future. Uh, obviously not now because the, the DAO is still not out. The voting system is still not out. It, it, there is still a lot of work that needs to be put in and a lot of uh, potential that the project still has. So obviously anybody who's looking into burn, you are literally playing with a sleeping giant, in my opinion, and it could be... Uh, very wise to actually, you know, do a little bit more research onto, you know, the things that we've talked about in the past and some some of the stuff that um, we've we've relayed to you guys of the plans of what what we want to do with burn moving forward. And you know, it might not be a bad idea having a bag of burn because uh, when when things start working and and that bull market comes back around, uh, that that might be another uh, expected unexpected moment, right? So just uh, throwing that out there. Mm, interesting. <laughs> but yeah, guys, hey, yo, with with that being said, yo, what's up? Sorry, go ahead. No, 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 go ahead, bro. I was just going to say, uh, before you go, I just wanted to say congratulations on the uh, the new ex uh, ex exchange listing. 
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, congratulations to all of us. That just means, you know, what we're, what we're doing is, uh, we're, we're growing, we're growing the project ourselves, uh, together, everybody. It's not, it's not just the me or Alex or Peter or Max thing anymore. Well, um, it, it's everyone's efforts combined because, you know, all of these new opportunities that do come to the table, they don't just come to the table because, you know, we're cool guys or whatever. They come to the table because these companies look at us and they say, hey, okay, you guys achieved what? You guys achieved this, that, blah, blah, blah. You guys have a community of how many people? And then, you know, th that's when these opportunities start arising and um, they will continue to, uh, more doors will continue to open as we continue and proceed to grow. So we're in for a ride, guys. We're in for a, we're in for a great, uh, a great journey. Absolutely, I agree. Yep. Oh, yeah. With that being said, guys, I think we'll just wrap it up over here. Uh, I think we had a pretty solid uh, day today. Obviously, I'm happy to to be be back and back to normal and, and not sound like I'm dying on the VC. <laughs> but <laughs> I just want to thank you guys for tuning in today and listening in. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys on Monday's AMA. I'll always be in the chat if you guys need me, tag me. But as always, if you miss Chiba, that sucks. If you miss Doge, that sucks. If you miss Chiba Doge, then I'm sorry, but you suck. You suck. <laughs> <laughs>